In this game, the heads of people who move will shatter into tiny red rocks. Several students die without knowing the rules of the game. They instantly released countless stones from themselves. This game is controlled by this clown-looking puppet. He suddenly appears in the classroom and nothing can stop him. The wooden man asks the students to play a game of backquote backquote stick it up. People who move die instantly, a few students try to escape, but the doors and windows were all locked. The wooden man turns around and sees them, and they die like they did before. And the rest were more afraid and they did not dare to move. At that moment, the guy with the glasses in the class suddenly sees the rules of the game written on the back of the wooden man. They can stop the game before the countdown ends by pressing the button behind it. A boy rushes to press the button, but the wooden man suddenly turns around, and the boy instantly turns into countless stones. Seeing this, the maiden is very frightened and she screams out loud, but she only half screams and loses her voice. At this point they see that there is one minute left in the game, which is very little. They decide to take their chances. The children continue to rush, but the wooden man accidentally turns back and they fail one by one. Only the guy with the glasses and Asuka survive as countless small stones pile up all over the ground. Time is up. The guy with the glasses has an idea, he asks Asuka to use gymnastic moves. Asuka jumps onto his back as a springboard and hits the button at the very last second. Asuka finally ends the match, both are relieved. The guy with the glasses gives Asuka a thumbs up, but in the next second, his head is blown open as well. Then it turned out that the rule of the game is that only the person who pressed the button remains alive. Asuka was scared. But he was about to run away, suddenly the door opened, it was his neighbor Jihyung. He was the only one left in his class. They try to call the police, but there is no signal. They try to escape, but it turns out that even the window can't be broken there. Finally, only one door was open, it was the basketball gym. All the surviving students are gathered here. The door closes automatically, suddenly a big cat rises from underground and the second part of the game begins. This cat trying to destroy the roof of the house is in the next second of happy music suddenly he stretches his neck and eats a student. The others run away but he eats the other one with the person who moves quickly with him. The third Jihyung falls to the ground, but suddenly a big bell is found there. The cat definitely has a basket around its neck. It turns out that to complete the second part of the game, you need to throw the bell on the basket around the cat's neck. There are 9 minutes left in the countdown. Asuka tells everyone what she thinks about the game, one of the best players tries it with a basketball and she easily scores. They don't seem to have a hard time shooting the bell, and he catches it with a jump and deftly directs it to the basket. The bell makes a perfect appearance in the air, but just as he is about to succeed, Fortune Cat reaches out and grabs the bell. No one thought his arm could still move. The boy who threw the ball hit the wall with a heavy impact. As the match continues, Asuka notices that she only seems to be attacking students in mouse suits. Everyone rushes to untie him, but the cat only stops for a few seconds and starts eating people again. This time it's Ji Yang's turn but the cat suddenly stops. Asuka wears a mouse suit to get cat's attention, she really becomes a target of attack and she also understands the cat's words in the mouse suit. He immediately climbs behind the cat and helps to tickle it, and the others also come to his aid. The cat easily stops attacking and falls asleep. But fearing that only one of them will live, they fight over who will ring the bell. The lucky cat woke up from the noise, this time the cat killed two people using its claws. Asuka looks at the basketball leather and suddenly has an idea. He and Jihyung wrapped the basketball and the bell in the clothes. It is predicted that the cat will not know the difference between them at a glance. But Asuka accidentally reveals a basketball, cat smiles and she rings Ji Yang's bell, but she knows something is wrong here. It turns out that Asuka exposed it on purpose, she covered the bell with the skin of the ball. It was too late for the cat to stop it. But Asuka was so bad with the ball, bell bounces off the basketball hoop and goes flying to the outside. At this moment, a curly-haired boy will fall from the sky, he will catch the bell and place it in the basket, ending the game. Only Asuka Jihyung and Curly survive there. The cat suddenly spits out white mist and they all faint. Then when they wake up Asuka finds herself in a strange place. The play was still going on, four puppets were singing around a boy. They were playing a handkerchief game, and at the end of the song they had to guess which doll was behind it. A red light flashes on the forehead because the child guessed wrong. 
He suddenly becomes disoriented and starts following the movements of the puppets, which the puppets continue to do until he dies. As the game goes on, they choose another girl, and the girl is so scared that she can't even guess. A red light will also light up in his head, the girl was also under control and his legs were split. Dolls are pulled tightly to the sides, with a cry, the girl splits in two. Asuka realized that she had reached the third level of the game. At that moment, the dolls were looking at another girl, and Asuka decided to save her. She takes the place of first girl, and the doll's song is over. Asuka also fails to guess the answer in time, and one of the dolls declares the game over. But Asuka immediately gives the correct answer and Mankin says it's too late now. But Asuka pulls out her cell phone, it turns out that time is running out Asuka secretly recorded the puppet's voice before and now she's tricked after the puppet speaks. Asuka immediately distinguishes who is in the back by her voice and position. When the doll hears this, it explodes in anger and the key falls out of it. He takes the key and goes to the next part of the game. He goes outside and sees a boy being chased by an evil puppet. The boy sees them, runs and grabs their hands. Seeing this, the doll stops immediately. It turns out that if he sees a boy walking alone on the sidewalk, he will immediately try to kill him. Hearing this, the girl asks Asuka not to let go of her hand. Asuka smiles back at him and agrees. But the next moment, Yu sees Ji Hyung chasing the doll. He is forced to let her go and grabs Ji Hyung's hand. The four then come to a large door where Countdown reappears. They need to collect seven keys and seven people to pass this stage. But now there aren't even three keys, then suddenly Curly appears he collects the remaining three keys and kills the extra person. Seven people together to pass the stage and in the next stage, a polar bear named Truth or Dare is waiting for them. At this stage, the truth challenge is the game over when everyone tells the truth. But as one man lies there, one man must be chosen to die. First question, are you all subscribed to this video? The crowd was a bit confused. Of course this is a joke. As the bear asks them a question, they rush to answer. But then the polar bear suddenly gets angry, someone lied to him. They start to suspect each other and there the situation goes to blaming each other. The boy who lied was finally found out, and polar bear promptly turned him into a meat pie in one fell swoop. The next question is did you all like me? The crowd immediately says yes. The polar bear gets angry again after hearing this answer. Why do people still lie? If you really haven't liked the video, please do so now. The next question of the white bear makes children think. This time someone starts targeting the girl, I think he must be lying. The girl desperately defends herself, she is not lying, but no one believes her words. The polar bear slaps the girl. Asuka suddenly feels that something is strange there. He realized that the polar bear was lying. He was actually a black bear. It was the bear who lied there. After the polar bear's secret is revealed, he slowly melts away. To my surprise, it was really a big black bear. They successfully pass this stage and the five survivors advance to the next stage. A Russian nesting doll comes out with a quivering body. Have you ever seen a walking Russian doll? Besides, he could talk. The last stage of the game is hide and seek, and they are divided into two groups by drawing lots. Moves as a ghost to capture the other four. The captor only looks them in the face and calls them by name. It counts if he steps on the tin can and says the name of the person he caught. The chaser wins if he can catch three people before sunset. If one of the four in the quest kicks this box, he will be able to rescue the prisoner. It is worth mentioning that there are explosives inside the box. The person who kicks the can dies. As a result, Curly strikes. Seeing that he is the pursuer, the crowd immediately rushes away. But soon Curly catches the two boys. <laughs> Ji Hyung is also caught blocking the stalker's access point. Now only Asuka remained there. Curly just needs to hold onto the box so he wins until sunset. But the aggressive Curly starts yelling at Asuka, forcing her to come out to anger her. Ji Hyung tries to stop Asuka from performing. The stalker Ji Hyung starts yelling that he hates Asuka and so on. Asuka immediately understands his feelings after hearing this, she is even more determined to go out there. So Asuka appears there in a large suit of armor so Curly can't see her face. But even though the armor is defensive, it also limits his movement. Curly easily removes his helmet, but as Curly tries to step into the tin box, the body is encased in chains at one point. This is all Asuka's plan. 
This armor isn't meant to block his face, nor is it defensive, but it did a pretty good job of drawing Curly closer. Asuka then jumps down the castle, almost bringing Curly down with her. He then goes to great lengths to pull out the stolen armor and soon discovers that it is hollow. Asuka had climbed up from the other side at this time. Just as Asuka runs into the tin can, Curly breaks free of the chain, but still Asuka kicks the canister. At that moment the sun was setting, but the canister did not explode. The rest are still confused by this. A small group of kids show up there and they say it's just a joke. Curly loses the game and gets very angry. He grabs the doll by the neck and asks. I am chosen by God how can I die? But the toy says it's just a game and he didn't say anyone would die in the game. Then each of them is given an ice cream. The five survivors are relieved, eating ice cream while watching the fireworks for their victory. But as Asuka and Jihyeong look forward to the future, Jihyeong finds an ice cream stick with the word, death, written on it. Then the puppets appear again, they say that they have tested intelligence, physical strength and imagination. But there is one more thing. After these words, the fourth doll appears. This is luck. Only Asuka and Curly's ice cream stick had living words written on it. The lucky doll will then shoot three beams of light. Three people just become starlight there. It seems that strength alone is not enough, luck is also important. It was a big test and the two survivors were in the god cube. The crowd below shouts them in the name of God. One is called an angel and the other is called a devil. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.